Now, currently, they have 55 centers across Mumbai City through which they are providing free medical oxygen cylinders. At the start of the pandemic, they had initiated centers for supply of free sanitization equipment to societies and sanitized more than 5,000. Uh, in fact, 55,000 housing societies, hospitals and public transport and ambulance. Uh, now, uh, we are joined by Mr. Rahul Sangvi of the Weed Foundation. He's their trustee. He joins us live. Mr. Sangvi, thank you very much and good afternoon. Uh, thank you for joining us. Uh, uh, Mr. Sangvi, you know, your organization, of course, is uh, providing very, very critical help at a time uh, that we need it most. It has, I understand, uh, uh, sanitized nearly 55,000 housing societies and hospitals across the country. Uh, tell us more about the work you're doing. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. We started this uh, activity since the start of the pandemic, since March 2020. From June 2020, we felt that there is a need of an oxygen because the growing amount of cases and worldwide scenario where oxygen was the most vital drug which is actually required to cure this uh, virus. So we started in June 2020 with over 60, 000, 60 centers across Mumbai where we are providing free oxygen cylinders to the home quarantine patients. They come, pay security deposit and they take back the cylinders for use. And once they return, we return them the security deposit. So we have been running these three centers since June, and these centers are still operational right now. Right now, Mr. Sangvi, apart from the oxygen cylinders that you are, uh, you know, providing to people who are in home quarantine, we also understand that you are helping hospitals and, you know, public transport and housing societies uh, sanitize uh, their premises because a lot of cases uh, in Mumbai particularly have been reported where, you know, uh, people are under home quarantine. So give us a sense of your work there as well. Uh, since uh, we belong to a Jain family, and since my grandfather's times, we have been doing into humanity and humanitarian activities. So we started this sanitization process where uh, people can take it at their home free of cost, sanitize and come back, which includes societies, public transport and everything. These services are still active at few of our centers right now. Uh, people are in dire need of oxygen where they are unable to get hospitals. So this oxygen helps them recover while they are home quarantine and by the time they get hospitalization right now. And the world has come forward to help our country. So my humble request is that every Indian should come forward to help every our fellow Indian because together we can only break this chain by supporting each other. Right. Uh, as you were, of course, pointing out, that's your message to the larger public because we, uh, we need heroes and we need people like you, Mr. Sangvi, to come forward and help uh, citizens in their hour of need. Uh, so what's your larger message to India as we know we battle this very severe second wave of the pandemic? We are at a level which we can still control and curtail this. The only request is, humble request is, Please stay safe, use the mask, stay or self away. If you find symptoms, an early detection is the only cure. If you find some symptoms, get yourself tested, take the necessary precautions under doctor supervision because life is going to take time to get to normalcy. But please wait, things will restore back. But if we do not take the precautions, we are not only risking ourselves, our family, but our country fellow means also. We are here to help you and serve the nation our only thing is we have not been able to move out of Mumbai. If it was a possibility, we could have reached every corner of the country. But through our resources, we are right now actively working with this 58 centers across Mumbai. My humble request is if anybody wants to move forward, join us in the drive to fight against Corona. And we thank all the government agencies and other agencies who are doing excellent work to do to the best of their ability. Right, as you're pointing out, uh, Mr. Sangvi, we understand you just have about 55 centers in Mumbai which uh, uh, provide f uh, free oxygen cylinders. But uh, are you now planning to branch out? Because, you know, there is a dire need of oxygen cylinders in smaller cities in Maharashtra as well. We've had reports coming in from, you know, uh, places like uh, Nagpur. We have reports coming in from Aurangabad where people uh, are in dire need of oxygen. Our helpline number calls are, we are getting calls every minute, a call from different parts of the 
country as well as international calls are coming in because they want to help and provide resources to their family members, to their relatives, and just out of curiosity, they are trying to see. We are looking at an options how we can expand and reach every corner of the world. We will soon come up with more number of centers, but we need more volunteers and more people to come forward to help our nation. If uh, if this message is gone through, we request everybody to contact We Foundation. We are here to help you and expand, and we will brace them happily to join a part of our right. team so that we are able to prove and help every possible person and save every life in this country. Mr. Rahul, uh, Sanghvi, that's a very important message that you are sending out uh, uh, to our viewers on Republic Media Network. Thank you very much for speaking to us. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Stay safe. Thank you.